I thought it would be useful to review the anatomy of the long header biceps tendon before Dave talks you through a tutorial on how to evaluate this on ultrasound. So what we're looking at here at the moment is this is the long header biceps tendon here uh, sitting within the bicipital groove between the greater and the lesser tuberosity. And we can see how it originates from what's called the supraglenoid tubercle, the most superior rim of the glenoid itself, and then travels across the top of the humeral head, down through the bicipital groove, and onto the humeral shaft. You can see as well, if we turn the model slightly, why Dave will talk you through in a moment about how to actually angle your probe because of the angulation of the long header biceps as it comes down onto the humeral shaft. It doesn't just move straight down the humeral shaft, it actually drops in slightly back on itself uh, and onto the bone there. And that's why there are some challenges around probe angulation and anatomy to ensure that we get that tendon nice and bright and avoids artifacts such as an isotropy. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. For this video tutorial, we're gonna look at the long header biceps in the bicipital groove. And we're gonna start with our patient sat down, arm in a neutral position, probably very slightly externally rotated. And we can see the long header biceps here sat in the bicipital groove. If I move my probe medially, we'll come across subscapularis. And if I keep traveling across, we see the coracoid process. Okay, I'm gonna move my probe back into my starting position. Here's my long header biceps now. If I tilt the probe, I want to make the long header biceps as bright as possible. See here, it will go dark and bright very quickly on relatively small movements of the probe. And this is due to an isotrophy because the long header biceps tendon is quite reflective. So I make the long header biceps tendon bright in the bicipital groove, and I'm gonna keep it bright by very slightly moving the probe as I track down, and I keep going down into the anterior recess until I see this hyperechoic structure coming across from the medial aspect. And this is the pec major tendon, just coming across from the medial aspect just highlighted on the screen for you there. And I'm then gonna come back up into the bicipital groove, keeping that long head of biceps tendon nice and bright. And I'm gonna track back up towards the rotator interval. I can look at the long head of biceps tendon also in a longitudinal plane by rotating my probe around by 90 degrees. So I then am looking at long plane view of long head of biceps and I'm just going to follow it down, follow it down until we get to the musculotendinous junction here. And we can see here the most proximal fibres of the long head of biceps and the biceps musculotendinous junction. So this is how we're going to scan the long head of biceps tendon in the bicipital groove. 